Uh. Circles are small, keep a certain few. Only ever us, just the perfect crew. People ask for. Pablo, where's Pablo? Hey, Pablo. Pablo, 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 where's your dog? How's Pablo doing? Where's Pablo? Where's Pablo? Where's the dog? He would be a mascot. Where's the dog? <laughs> you may have guessed it by the title, but today's video is about Pablo, the French Bulldog. My French Bulldog. He's my brother from another mother. So basically, I did not find a video on how much it costs to have a French Bulldog when I was searching for it, only the things that you have to do and consider before buying a French Bulldog, but not actually when you buy a French Bulldog, how much money does it gonna cost you in in bills of um, vets and toys and food and schedules and things like that and blah 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 and even insurance, huh? I thought like, hey, people make uh, videos on uh, how much it uh, cost to run a uh, C63 AMG Mercedes, so why not make a video on how much it costs to run a dog? <laughs> so that's the today's video topic. You guys might have noticed, I bought my dog like six months ago, I guess, and I made a little video about him and uh, didn't do anything else after that, just because, I don't know, I think other topics were more interesting to me to film. I really wanted to do this, because I was in the mood to make a video about my dog, so sorry if it took too long. So basically, I bought a French Bulldog with a lot of research. I couldn't find any reliable dealers. Why not? There's a lot of people who buy them from Eastern Europe, they have diseases and stuff and they breed them in a very bad way and then you get a really sick dog and he dies soon. And It's something really common in the Netherlands and Belgium because those dogs are so expensive. And um, I found mine from a guy who owns a dog hotel. So what is a dog hotel? Basically. When you go on holiday, you can't, uh, you cannot leave your dog at your friend's house, or nobody wants your dog, and you leave him at a dog hotel until you're back from your holiday trip. The guy knew a lot about animals, and he had a lot of dogs. He also had French bulldogs, and I bought a dog from him, which was completely checked out by a vet before buying. He had the chip. He got all his medical uh, things done, so it was a, a pretty good buy and also a good deal. So that also brings us to the first point, which is the initial cost of buying a French bulldog. Well, in the Netherlands, Belgium, this side of Europe, Western Europe, the dogs are really expensive, especially French bulldogs. So usually, if you want a good, healthy one from with a good background, they're around two thousand euros, fifteen hundred to two thousand euros, and um, I got mine for eight hundred which is a really good deal. And um, I don't know, just because the, I, I was early there, I, I was like, he wasn't advertising on some sketchy websites or something like uh, Craigslist, the Western European thing of Craigslist. So what I basically did is did my research on him, read his uh, reviews about his dog hotel, um, got checked all the medical papers and stuff, checked the dog and he was really happy when he was small and he was I don't know, he was just really dedicated and coming home with me. Before actually buying the dog, I also had to buy a cage or a bench, that's how they call it, a dog little cagey thing. Um, a pillow, food and water, I don't know how you call that, food and water bucket, something like that, I don't know how to call that in English. Um, food pills for against war worms because you have to deworm your dog in 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 stages so he doesn't get uh, some some worms or infections inside of his uh, organs so that's something you have to do with puppies because they uh, they are born with some infection that can be triggered etc um i had to prepare the appointments at the vet for his first second and third row of shots because they have to get three shots when they're little in order to destroy and eliminate all possible things that can make them sick. I bought puppy pads, snacks, a line to walk him with, uh, actually a lot, well, now what I think of. If you haven't checked my puppy haul out, I have a video from a couple months ago. You have to scroll back on my channel and you can find the puppy haul things that I bought and also a small video about Pablo when I actually had him. And then you can see how small he was. I actually could put him on a desk and he was not bigger than like my two hands. Like actually one hand was his entire size. And um, 
As you now can see in the video that I'm gonna roll right now, some B-roll. Insert recent Pablo B-roll. Like snow when it falls in the wind, you know, and you oh you ooh. you say you wanna dance. You're wary, you know, you'll end up in the wrong hands, and you're having fun. Why don't you show your friends? So yeah, he got a lot bigger. He's now eight months. Yeah, eight months. And I did have a couple of problems with him. Uh, he ate some uh, foam packaging foam and that's really bad for them. So I had to go to take him to the vet where he had to puke everything out. And otherwise he would have gotten a surgery if he didn't puke it out. So that was kind of bad. Uh, he also ate everything from the ground, which was really annoying. That's how it came. He found some foam somewhere in the street and he ate it and I didn't see it. That's a thing to consider. Those dogs are like really, really sensitive, more than any other dog. So they, you cannot like really take them out into the open, into the cold. Um, when it's cold outside, you actually need to have something like a little jacket or something for him. And that's no joke. People think it's... it's, it's it hurts the dog and they don't want it. My dog actually likes it because if he goes out and it's cold, he's like jumping and he knows that he has his uh, vest on, it's not cold. And if it's cold, he's gonna sit by the door and just look at me scared like, dude, you know how cold it is outside? I put up a list now with all the things that you should consider and how much it costs to have a dog like this in Western Europe. So I'm living in the Netherlands, so we also pay dog taxes here. Yeah, the Netherlands are really weird. Good thing I'm leaving this country in a, about a year and a half. Also a thing to consider, in some countries you can have a dog insurance. So, especially with these kind of dogs, Bulldogs, French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, they get ill really fast and they have a lot of um, issues with their health because they get bred, breed, bred wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, because of all those sketchy people who do things to them just to make money of dogs which is really, really pathetic. And that's why most insurance companies won't even insure you. And if they want to insure you, you're gonna pay like 70, 60 or 70 euros a month. It's not worth it. I mean, in two months you actually have your costs back and you also have your own risk. So until you reach 300 euros or 250 euros, you have to pay all the bills yourself. And after that, then the insurance company is gonna cover some things and not all of them. So insurance for bulldogs, eh, no, 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 no. So you, you have to have money in your pocket when something happens, like my dog, completely healthy, took care of him perfectly. Um, but yeah, shit happens, so he has to go to the vet, you have to, it's just like a kid, don't save up on your dog's life, he's like your most loyal friend and also your most happy and also annoying friend. They don't like being alone, so that's also a thing to consider. If you're working all the time, don't buy a French Bulldog, because they can actually die earlier from depression and being alone, which is pretty sad. But they are really attached to their bosses and really need a lot of attention and playtime. So I hope this gives you an, uh, an overview on how much it costs to have a French Bulldog. So this is all the costs that I have made so far. Some things you can save on. I wouldn't do that personally. I always buy the best stuff for my dog because I know if it's, a, it's just like a mini kid. You know, you don't save up on, on your kid either, right? So you give them the best things that you can get. So you can save up on some material by buying them um, used. Um, do not save up on food because they're already such a sensitive need good food um, in order to stay healthy. And that has shown, I mean, compared with other stories that I had from other bulldog owners, they had a way more problems than I did with my dog. So that's something to consider. If you guys want to know more about this kind of stuff, just uh, let me know down below and I can make a second part. Just let me know what you want to know because I was more about the cost and that kind of stuff in this video. But maybe you want to know some different stuff on, I don't know, teaching him things. If you want to know more things about him or more things in general on how to do certain things or have questions about any costs, just comment it down below. I'll read all the comments and help you guys out. Uh, for all the other people who are usually 
where I used to different videos on my channel about gaming and that kind of stuff. I also do this kind of stuff. I, I really do whatever. I, I really like making videos. So I just pick a subject that I'm interested in or I see that people need help with. This is something I couldn't find on the internet when I was looking for it. It was all too general and not specified. So that's why I made this video. So I hope to help you guys out a lot. And maybe you can buy yourself a new French Bulldog or don't buy a French Bulldog if you see this video. I right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!